Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of First Taste with Hope. This month we are focusing on none other than comfort foods because you need some comfort this month especially if you're single because I feel you I was there for a long time and being single means you need all the comfort you can get so I myself my comfort food is chips but I'm trying to do better nowadays and not eat so many chips so I thought I would try more comfort foods that other people like so today what we are making we are making mozzarella sticks or mozzarella tots or whatever you think they look like in the end however here's the spin they're gonna be wrapped in Cheeto dust yum who doesn't like Cheetos Cheetos are great love them like I said I have a problem with chips we gotta cut it off but we're gonna use them in this dish so it works for both so with that being said let's get started to begin let's discuss the ingredients you're going to need Cheetos puffs the puffs I know I like the crunchy better myself but they call for the puffs you'll see why in a moment You'll also need some sort of flour. I'm using coconut flour because I am trying my best to be on the gluten-free side. If you didn't know, Cheetos are actually gluten-free as well. So this is something that you can definitely get on. And then you got the mozzarella cheese. So we bought this gooey-ish type of cheese. You can, you can feel it's a softer cheese. And what we're gonna do is cut that into slices to where it can be coated. And on top of that, you will need some eggs and um, the flour and the eggs together will create the Walsh before you put the puffs on it. Those are the ingredients you will need. All right, everyone, we are going to begin by putting everything in its place. We are going to put Cheeto puffs dust in one of these in a moment. But first, we're going to start by putting eggs in one. We're going to whisk those around to where we can use that as coating. And then we're going to use one of the bowls to use the flour. So the order that you want to do that in is the flour, then the egg, and then the Cheetos pup dust. Yes. Okay, my friends. This is a food processor. It was gifted to me for my birthday. This is the first time I'm ever using a food processor. So if you see something that looks odd and confusing, that is because I am new to this. So we're just going to try it out. Gonna put the Cheetos in, hoping that that's the right move to do. I can smell the Cheeto aroma. There goes some cheese dust. I'm having fun.
Do you think this would be too big of a cheese stick? <laughs> no. All right, then that's what I'm gonna do. Be cheese squares. Be cheese squares. When we coat these, we're going to put them on a plate or pan or whatever you prefer. Um, need to do it with parchment paper. And once you have it on the plate, you're going to put it in the freezer for 30 minutes before you deep fry or air fry or whatever fry you choose to do. And yeah, so that's how we're going to do that. All right, we have them coated, and so now we're gonna put them in the freezer for 30 minutes. Okay, pals, we are going to start putting the Cheeto mozzarella squares, as we're calling them now, into the deep fryer. This is my old deep fryer from my mother that she gave me, but hey, whatever works. She got an air fryer, well, I'll take the deep fryer, you know? If anybody wants to send me an air fryer, you go right ahead, but we're gonna open it up. It is ready. It is warm. We got oil in there. So we're going to be putting some of these in. So you want to use some tongs, that way you don't burn yourself. I can hear it start to sizz. I can hear it start to sizz. I'm going to do those five for now. Whoa, baby! Whoa, they cooking! Whoa, baby! <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Oh. Man, I'm so impressed. They smell really good. They do smell really good. Man, oh man. Okay, now we're gonna put these in. We're putting the other five in. Wow! That is so exciting! Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Okay, everyone, as you can see, there's a little difference here. So these seem to have came out a little juicier, squishier or something. So it came out a little more difficult. I think it might be because I didn't coat them enough because there seems to be some breakage and a lot more cheese falling out versus these didn't have that issue. We might see some differences once they start to settle a little bit more, but I'm gonna try these. These have been sitting out a minute. So I'm gonna see how they taste. Yeah, can definitely tell the Cheeto taste. So if you like Cheetos, it's for you. It's like a good breading. I think the coconut flour, you can't even tell if you decide to use coconut flour, can't even tell. It definitely has that mozzarella stick texture to it and it's, it's flavorful with that Cheetos taste. I think these are a hit. I would definitely make these for a party. If you decide to make these, just make sure you don't make the same mistake I did. Make sure you evenly coat them. And at the end of the day, these are a good appetizer snack. So go for it and make yourself Cheeto happy. And I will see you guys next time on another First Taste with Hope video. Bye everyone.